folks. So we've had two days inside the uh, Airstream, gotten it, pulling things out. Uh, we still have one gaucho that I want to rip out. But maybe you're asking yourself, why should I watch this guy uh, doing restoration on this? I'm going to say because I'm an average Joe. I might be like a lot of you. There's a lot of people out there that have massive garages, wonderful inside with lighting and all the equipment in the world. I'm out here on the gravel doing what I can to make this old Airstream look as nice as I can. So I'm probably working in the same circumstances as a lot of you guys that might be on a bit of a budget. I'm always on a budget. So we're going to show you tips, tricks that I can come up with as I go along the way. I've done a few of these. I've done a lot of canned hams and old trailers. So uh, we're hoping we might be able to show you some products that might work out really well for your project. Um, and we're giving you a view of this now so you can see, you know, as it progresses along. We're not going to spend a small fortune on this. We're not looking to buy a $100,000 Airstream and save a little money by renovating this one. Um, you know, we're doing this on the cheap, but we're going to make this a nice looking unit. Do a lot of the work ourselves. All the work pretty much ourselves. And it's all stuff that you can do and we'll be helping you figure out how you can do it. So. Hopefully you'll stay with us, watch a few episodes, and we'll still have all our antique episodes that we're going to do as well, but we're going to have the Airstream Chronicles and let you follow along. So this is what we're starting with, 1978, 23-foot safari, twin axle. <laughs> well, this is ever so nice, isn't it, Grand? Yes, yes, it is, yes. And a couple of the things that are a nice bonus is the tires we found out. The people that haven't used this in two years bought these tires new three years ago and they've always been on a nice paving pad so they're all in really good shape so that saves us a lot right there and we're going to show you some of the things around the trailer that we're going to try and fix right off the bat all right battery compartment here you can see a rivets come out of there and it's gotten a little bent because of it we'll straighten that out and then this door will close up a lot nicer than it was uh, we're probably going to run with a couple of AGM batteries I'm hoping for. So that box I'm going to entirely redo that inside because they don't need to be vented. So um, it's, it's just going to be an access panel for something. Now we have ordered a slide hammer dent puller. You see there's dents here and here and with any Airstream you just look at it while your sun's changing throughout the day. And you're going to see all sorts of dents you didn't think you had. But we're going to practice down here. Uh, I've never used a slide hammer without having a hole in the metal. So this one you glue the tabs on. And we'll get this all, this all grinded down and repainted. we got to figure out what's going on with that jack right there. But again, we're waiting for battery power. we got to check these tanks. Uh, see if we can still fill them. But here you can see again. Lots of crumpled front, which is really common on these. But our front shell, thankfully, is really good. Nobody hit a low branch tree there, anything like that. There's the empty awnings, trying to get them dried out a little bit. That's the first time I've had that one out. It's been extremely windy here. Um, it does come out a lot more than that, but I don't really want to bring it out just yet. Uh, we're going to put a new, new pad on this tread here new tread on the stair and the other thing you can see here I hope it focuses enough this is what looks like caulking when you find an old Airstream now that one somebody's redone but they didn't do it right um, so let me adjust the camera here and you can see up here caulking along the top there we are getting water in this window. It's gone down and made a little hole in the floor. Um, and you can see pretty easily as you go along and you look at these caulking beads. Um, you know, the old Vulcan, it breaks down and some of this doesn't even have any caulking left on it. <laughs> but you can see right here, two holes right there above that window. It's no longer sealed here. So we got to dig all that out. Now you do have to be very careful. You don't want to use a, a metal spatula or anything like that. It gets caught in there and then shoots off like this and you're going to put a big gouge in your trailer. It's going to be awfully hard to buff that out. Get yourself a bone, a little bone tool, plastic tool, something like that. And just go at it carefully. Don't, don't push too hard. You don't want to go shooting off and, and make it a, more damage than you're helping. 
and you want to use Tempro. You don't want to use just your regular house silicone. That's not going to work for you. So, cool with the awnings. I really like it. We're going to take a shot at that air conditioner up there. See if we can't fix that. Uh, now, it has hit something back here. You can see right here, we've got some creasing, some dents. There's even a little one on the top there. But we're going to try this slide hammer and see if we can't pull most of this out. And if we can get most of it out, um, you know, and then it's polished, you're not going to see that. But there's a lot of... Um, but the awnings look pretty good so far. They do need a bit of a clean. Okay, so, and again, here, you got a little push in there. Now we're going to get rid of the water heater, so I may change that entirely if I'm not going to keep a water heater in there. If I do, it's just going to be a non-demand electric. So I'm not going to need this rear access. I might make that into a little storage compartment because there really isn't any on the 23-foot model. So, um, you know, a nice little spot for tools, something like that. And I'll just make a uh, metal plate to match with some rivets. It'll look really nice and hinge down. And we'll get a little bit more storage. Okay, so that's the outside. And we're just going to run the film of us uh, ripping out the carpet, the kitchen, and the gauchos. And we'll just speed that up so it goes real quick. You can see it's a uh, few days, not even full days, just uh, one guy moving along. You can get quite a bit done, but that's the easy part. Just putting it back together is the tricky part. So stay with us, and we're going to show you all sorts of uh, great ways to do that. Thanks very much for watching. God bless. <laughs>
folks uh, now we got some room okay so here you can see with the counter out you got the fenders of course under there so that takes up a fair bit of room we still got the heater in place which we might be able to save so we're going to check it out if that's a decent working heater because we barely ever use them anyway so there's no sense spending another $300 on a new one. If that one's working fine, we might use it twice a year. And down here, <laughs> underneath this here floor, we have the tank. And we have right through to the ground with no cover. So there's a nice little way for mice and rodents and anything else, squirrels and anything that wants to, get in underneath now the frame under here looks awesome good and strong and actually everything looks really clean in there which is nice wiring's all good doesn't look chewed up so but i am going to put something over that for now because i don't want squirrels moving in okay so God bless.